Good afternoon. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing us all to see another day that wasn't promised to us. I like to thank God for all his grace, all his mercy that kept us alive. I like to thank God for everything. This for life. This for waking up. This for opening my eyes up this morning to say thank you, Jesus. Um in breaking news that happened earlier today with Whitney Houston daughter Bobby Christian. Keep her in prayers. The enemy trying to take her out. You know, um, Whitney Houston died um, in February, I think in, on the 11th. I'm not for sure. And they found Bobby Christian in the bathtub just like they found her mother. The enemy is trying to get her. Um, she need help. She need prayers. And she need Jesus. So we're going to see how many people going to reach out to this young lady. How many people going to reach out to her? They have so many people say they have God, they love God. So my question is why are people not going out to help people that's calling out for help? They got lost souls that's reaching out for help. But people walk around here like nothing's going on. And it's sad and, it's, and it touched my heart to see a young lady, not just her, many others that's out there in the world that's reaching out crying out for help and people pass by them every day like nothing even much going on in people's lives they got family members that's going through something right now with a loved one you know someone right now is going through something you know suicide spirits or whatever it is you start praying for your family friends whoever Start reaching out to them. You never know what someone may be going through. It's time to put that stuff to the side. Whatever you didn't, whatever person that did in your life didn't hurt you, it's time to let that go. We in 2015. People are dying every day. I'm telling you all right now, why I stay at? Two years ago, God showed me. He's coming back from my hometown. Every week, somebody is dying. Young people is getting People is dying. They're getting shot. They're getting killed. I mean, left and right, the enemy knows he don't have long left on earth before God comes back. This is serious. I take this very serious when I come on Facebook. Because, I'm not Facebook, I'm sorry. Well, I'll be on Facebook too. On YouTube. To reach out to the lost souls before it's too late. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ in your Lord and Savior, it's time now. It's time now. Stop playing with your life. The devil don't like you. He never did like you. Stop hanging around ungodly people. People that's not of God. Hang around godly people, spiritual people. He's going to lift you up. Stop letting the enemy come in your life, tear your life apart. You start telling the devil he is a lie. He should not have your family. He should not have your kids. He should not have your mother, your father. If they sprung out on drugs, you start speaking against that devil. They should not have your family. You start praying like never before. Because I tell you all, I pray so much. I got on my knees so much to pray for my family to come together, okay? So I know how it feels. And it hurt my heart because they got so, so many people that's lost in this world. And they need us. They need us. And I just ask you all, stay prayed up. Stay covered up in the blood of Jesus. God is in control. Do not fear. Don't worry about the media saying they lie. Don't worry about the government saying they lie. You focus on Jesus, not the worldly things. That will get you out of character. That will get you to believe in that mess they post on Facebook or post on the news. Don't listen to that crap. The only person you listen to is God. Remove them people out your life. That dead weight people who not even much there for you. God been showing me snakes. He been showing me so much stuff that's going on in this world. He been showing me people who's supposed to be my friend. Let me tell you something. I had surgery made a week yesterday. I can count on one hand how many people called me. How many people see what's 
call me to see was I okay? See if I needed anything. I can count. But guess what? I'm not even really much worried about that. Because guess what? I call out to God. I ask God to give me strength to heal my body. So I can be able to walk around to cook for myself, to cook for my child. I'm not worried. These tears of joy. I'm not hurting. I'm not in pain. Because I know who my father is. And I know who my help comes from. God going to send someone to me to help me. So I'm telling you why. Stay strong. Stay prayed up. Go and hear all our prayers. We just got to be still. And let God be God. Let God order your steps. Whatever's in God's will, let him work it out in your life. Don't let your will be done, but let God's will be done. Stand. Keep your armor on at all times because the devil is busy. He's working. He's he, That's his job. We can't get mad. That's his job to kill, steal, and destroy. But no weapons formed against us shall prosper. The enemy will not have me, you, your family, or your children in the name of Jesus. If you're going through something, give it to God. Get up them burdens off of you. Release it. Let God take the pain away. Let God take everything off of you that's not of him. You start speaking the devil. You a lie. You should not have my financials. You should not have my children. You should not have my blessings. As of today, I'm taking back everything you thought you stole from me. I'm taking it back in the name of Jesus. Start praying for the spirit of discernment. Start fasting and praying. Start seeking God's face. Start reading the word of God. Start staying in the Bible. We need the word of God. We need prayers daily. When you walk outside, say a prayer. When you come back in, say a prayer. Pray through the day. The enemy is busy. And you got to know how he come. He come all shapes of form. He work through children. He work through family. He work through sp- supposed to be friends. God is showing you every day. These people is not for you. Let them go. God going to put you spiritual people in your life. You got to trust in God and have faith in God. Weeping and do at night. But joy always come in the morning. You thank God for all your storms that made you stronger today. We have to go through the storm to get to the testimony and get to your blessings. So may God bless you all. Keep Hollywood in prayers. Keep the West Coast in your prayers. Keep everyone, your leaders, your pastors, Jerusalem, Israel, this whole world in your prayers. But God is in control. So don't fear. Because fear is not of God. I love you all. Be blessed. I'll be back on here sometime tonight. I I can't tell you when I come back on here. But I'll be back. Be blessed.